I'm here at the uh, training grounds of the local HMB group here in Brisbane, Brisbane Beast. <laughs> check out what this HMB thing is all about. The what up Beastmaster, the they call me Beastmaster yeah. man. So my three rules here at Brisbane Beast yep. are uh, number one, no train shaming. No one's lived your life, nobody's gone through your experiences. Number two, consent is the name of the game because it's a violent sport and you always have to respect the conversation. Number three, if you're a dick, you have to go home. <laughs> Your voice is just as much as a weapon as your boss. Sweat! So what you guys are seeing here is a little bit different than our normal Iron Crown content. Recently I got the opportunity of checking out the Brisbane Beast, a local Boo Hurt group and I reached out to them and organised to do a few training sessions just to check out what it's all about. HMB is more correctly referred to as Boo Hurt and is essentially a sports optimised version of Armoured Combat where the competitors use steel weapons and armor in steel or titanium and absolutely go ham on each other in an absolute mayhem similar to what a medieval battle would have been like or even a melee in a medieval tournament. Uh, except no one dies, as far as I know. Oh, you okay, John? Yeah. Good, stand it up. I got the honor of getting to interview the president of the Brisbane Beast, Colin Campbell, what a legend and he was generous enough to answer a few of my questions as to what the sport is about and even a bit of his personal journey to Boo Hurt as an experience. Without further ado, let's hear from the man himself. So that was, uh, that was the Brisbane Beast for tonight. Um, I'm absolutely smashed. Colin's here wrapping things up for the night. Wrapping it up, wrapping baby! It up. Colin, I want to ask you, like, you run uh, Brisbane Beast, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, how did you get into HMB and what is HMB all about for okay, people out okay. there? I started sword fighting when I was in America when I was 13 years old through like phone fighting, through reenactment, through SCA. Yeah, I've done like kind of done it all. A little bit of HEMA, a little bit of anything I could get my hands on so at a certain point. Fly to board and I bread. just loved to sword fight. Yeah. Loved to fight. So I started when I was 13. I'm 33 now. <laughs> and then I started steel fighting in 2015. I'm on my seventh or eighth season. Yeah. So I do it. But I've been sword fighting a lot. But all sword fighting begets more sword fighting. Yeah. So I'm a huge <laughs> believer. I'm a huge I'm a huge believer that whatever kind of sword fighting you want to do, I think you should do it. And I think being, 100%. I encourage people to do it. And then um the thing that I think HMB really provides is in a lot of sword fighting mm. communities, um it's kind of kind of look down upon to be really competitive. To be kind of aggressive. Because it's everything's honor based, kind of, right? Yeah. SCA it's honor based. I hit you, you yeah. say you hit me, okay I'm yeah. dead. You got yeah. me. Yeah. Where in steel fighting it's very competitive and the marshals are their are their own faction that says no you are dead. So it allows a sportsman it allows me to take sword fighting and really take it to the sports level. Nice. That in a lot of other sword fightings, it's kind of, it's not well placed. The medieval community has many different wings or lenses through which the phenomenon of the medieval world can be experienced. There's jousting, there's HMB, HEMA, living history, all of which have specific takes on the world and what experience the individuals want to draw out of that. In the case of Boo Hurt, the emphasis is the armoured combat experience. The sport, the intensity, and of course the safety of the participants are a big priority. Hence, armour is a hugely important part of the sport. History here takes a little bit of a backseat since the emphasis is on that experience and combat as opposed to recreating the world that was. So it, it brings the sport side of it out, it brings the competitive side of yes. it out. 
the intensity side. Yes, of I think it is the best place to be a competitive sportsman sword fighter where you're not gonna hurt the community. Nice, doing. nice. Because I think in a lot of other communities it can hurt them. I think so. H and B it provides a sport atmosphere with a team atmosphere, team. and then sure there is, there is like a lot of danger because it's metal weapons, yeah. metal armor. But through training with the soft kit and through training with your teammates, it's really actually pretty safe. Yeah. Cause you take care of each other. Armor is the <laughs> most important part of the sword. We know that. Don't Cause we? it doesn't matter how much you train, right. you will be in a scenario where someone is hitting. Yes, it is Colin. And of course, here at Iron Crown Workshop, we love making armor. Here at the workshop, we take more of an authentic approach to the recreation of armor, focusing in on that history. Whereas in Buhurt, the focus here is the safety and the protection of the combatants. As a result, there's a few differences between what we create here in the workshop and what you'll see on the fighters in the competition. Things like larger breaths to help with the breathing and the intensity of the battle and lighter armor made from titanium to optimize weight. Sometimes some of the complexity of the armor is reduced and created in more of a mass production style so that the fighters can afford it and it's more accessible to the average competitor. Ultimately, safety and protection here is the emphasis because the part of history where people died in battle is the part that we want to leave in the past. Because if that armor fails, there might be some major consequences. And if your armor doesn't stand up to the test, then you will find out by your body getting hurt and broken because of it. We're, we're crash testing in real life. Armor works, baby. Armor works, baby. 100%. One of the things I love about Boo Hurt is that it's a unique take on arms and armor that's a little bit different than what you normally expect. Oftentimes when we're looking at armor, we're looking at it from a historical lens. What did they do back in time and history? But Boo Hurt brings armor back to life in a new way and adds a new chapter to the story of arms and armor with real practical applications of armor here in the 21st century. Over the last couple of decades and here in the 21st century, there's a revival in the use and understanding of arms and armor, and Buhurt really leads the charge when it comes to the combat experience. In fact, the Brisbane Beasts as a team are training for an international tournament happening in Prague in a couple weeks from now. So good luck guys, do us all proud. Well, thank you, Colin. Thanks for giving us the rundown. No problem, um, no this is the Brisbane Beast. Check them out. Check them out on Instagram. Instagram, I think we're Brisbane Beast um, on Instagram. And then our website is www.beast.org.au. And what is your uh, personal Instagram for people? Personal like? Instagram is Mele Moses. Mele Moses. M E L E E M O S E S. <laughs> it's a long story. Check it out. Check this legend out. Check out HMB. And um, if you're into competition, sport, and steel fighting, definitely get into the space of H&B. It's been awesome, I'm absolutely thrashed. What an evening. It was beautiful, Let's go. Great. Let's Hooray. go, let's go!